Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Epic Geek Out, the only show on the internet that has their logo on Cap's shield. I'm your host, Chad. I'm your host, Rob, and today we're going to be reviewing Avengers Age of Ultron. As always, you can check us out over at Twitter, at Epic Geek Out. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Epic Geek Out, and also check out the website, www.epicgeekout.com. But let's get into a review of Age of Ultron. So today we're talking about a comic that's been out for a little while, but it's a series of 10 comics, um, Age of Ultron, which is obviously the namesake for the upcoming Avengers movie. Different than the comic. Which we have not read until we heard, you know, the announcement right, that right, it was right, going right. to be Age of Ultron. So we thought, we need to check this out. And I believe they're all on um, the Marvel Unlimited app. Too. They are close to being all on there. I think it's up to issue eight we got to, okay. like, check out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, they're kind of releasing them, you know, every two weeks, which is cool because... They do their releases on a Monday, so it's like new comic day for me for some of the ones that I didn't get to read. And so Wednesday again. And the Wednesday again, <laughs> exactly. Um, so Age of Ultron deals with the uh, villain Ultron, which is really famous in the lore. This is the mm-hmm. first experience I've had with him, obviously. Yeah, actually, me too. Um, I, like, I, He's not a known commodity to right, me either. Yeah. Right, so it's an interesting kind of feel of like what we can expect from the movie. Mm-hmm. It's obviously a robot that kind of gets stronger as he's defeated and, and stuff like that. Um, and well, He learns. It's an intelligence that yeah. keeps building, mm-hmm. and it's... Um, in this story, you know, um, Hank Pym, Ant-Man, you know, he's the one who um, created creates some yeah, movie's yeah. going to be different. Yeah, I mean, the movie's a separate whole mm. bag of tricks there. But, um, you know, this one kind of sees an alternate sort of Earth where the Avengers are sort of underground mm. and trying to fight against Ultron. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of the, the plot because I think that's half the fun and yeah. that's kind of what I'll talk about. Um, but we checked out, the I guess, the first eight. Um, we're kind of waiting to finish up the, mm. the rest as they release them. Uh, but definitely something, it's a big, you know, it's a big series that just finished, I think, last year, early this year. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's fairly new, but, you know, not something we checked out. Yeah. I mean, we've been kind of behind on comics a little bit, I think. So we wanted we to have. definitely talk about one. Um, and this is one that they also just released on uh, hardcover, too, so you can purchase That's the cool. trade itself. That's cool. So what do you think of uh, this? Yeah, story? I love this. I think um, Brian Michael Bendis is actually my favorite comic author now, mm-hmm. at least with, you know, the whole superhero genre i think he writes it so well that people can jump right in and pick this up and you're going to understand mm-hmm. this is going to be a different timeline it's going to be different things in you know the movies or what you might know but the ease of accessibility to these comics is right there they're characters you know right they're in a dire situation and they need to be superheroes you find out the ones who have you know been killed already the universe is just so realized in this that I think it is great, and it's it, it's a recommendation that I would have to get into the universe. I mean, the movies, everyone sees the movies, and I think this is a great way to kind of get into that. Obviously, the movie's going to be different. Because there's characters they can't even have in on the right side. Exactly, yeah, so. which is, you know, absolutely yeah. a thing. But, um, you know, th- this there's time travel involved in this. There's, you know, characters who I wouldn't think would be working together, you know, doing things. Um, There's the effects of the time travel and, like, the future. Like, it's really, really well done. So this is a high recommend for me, and I'm very excited. Like, I keep checking, you know, hoping that it's going to, you know, the new ones are going to be released as I've been, like, staying current with it. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, I think the art's great throughout it. I think, you know, it's, it's really enjoyable, and it shows how menacing Ultron can be, and... You know, I'm ex- it just gets me excited for the cinematic universe. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely pretty badass. I yeah. Say. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is like the first comic that I've ever read that I felt like there were stakes. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you agree with that, but I, do. I, I really felt like, and that's kind of unfortunate because it is an alternate you know, mm-hmm. world, so mm-hmm. they can get away with that more so than like, you know, if it was like current canon, Nothing as bad as but, Secret Avengers where it's like, we're just going to make you forget this stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Um, but it definitely I'm okay felt... with offshoots as long as you know it's that, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It just felt so, like, there were stakes, and, like, they were stripped down to absolute, like, they were defeated pretty mm. much, and they had to kind of rise up like phoenixes. And be Not superheroes. bad phoenix. No, good phoenix. Good phoenix. Um, and be superheroes and do superhero things with, like, only what they had, mm. you know? And work as a team only with only what they had. And I, I mean, I thought some of the, the plot points were they're kind of trying to get at Ultron was really clever and mm. inventive and, you know, new and, and kind of fun. Um, and it definitely felt like they were struggling to defeat an enemy, which is, again, something that's hard for comics mm-hmm. when you have these super, you know, these superheroes that they're all powerful and how do you yeah. put them against a formidable mm-hmm. foe 
Whereas this, I felt like it really did well. So that's why I'm kind of excited for the movie because, Mm -hmm. you know, if they kind of realize Ultron sort of in a similar fashion, I think that's kind of what he stands for is being, you know, the unbeatable force, so so to speak. Um, It it definitely is going to bring way more stakes to the the movie universe Mm -hmm. than I felt with the first Avengers, which is probably the weakest part of the first Avengers was I thought just, you know, it didn't have as much stakes at the end. You know, they just had, you know, you knew they were going to just fight the guys. Yeah, yeah. But it was awesome. It was (laughs) awesome. But I think this is more like... You know, it's it's a face that's going to be menacing and scary mm. to the world and also to the Avengers, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, I also like the art. I thought the writing was was decent. I mean, I, I, was, I like, it was blown great. away, but yeah. I also thought it was, was better than average, for mm. sure. And I also um, want to mention quick, it gave each character a moment to shine, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. You know, some you know, lesser-known characters had their moments, and it... So, it wasn't like it was just this wave of characters, you know. It focused on a couple here and there, and then, like, you know, there was a team effort. So I thought that was really well done. Like, it allowed people to shine, which is hard when there's so many characters in it. Yeah, it's true. Um, I felt similar to this that, as I did when I read um, Avengers Disassembled. I don't know if you ever read that. Mm. Uh, but that was kind of, like, right before House of M. Okay. That sort of started that off. Um, but I, like, really got into that that series of comics and I just thought it was like a great starting point. Mm -hmm. I also echo what you're saying is like, this is a really good starting point because it's kind of separate from the stories that are going on right now, but it's a self-contained thing that you can learn about all the superheroes that you've seen in the movies or you've you've heard of or new ones. Um, You can learn about those and you can learn about this awesome villain, Mm -hmm. but yet it's still separate and you're not like, and it's enjoyable. And and that's the thing too, you know, Yeah. 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 So check out age of ultra. It's really it's really well done, and it's, you know, like I said, it's out on, uh, eight ish- issues are out on the Unlimited app, mm-hmm. and then also the the trades out. So, yep. check it out if you're, again, if you're new to comics, it's really good. Also, if you haven't read, if you're really into comics, mm-hmm. you've got to read this one. I mean, if you haven't already, because it's, it's going to be a movie. And if you're also ish. new to comics, get Marvel Unlimited for a month, mm-hmm. and you can find something that you can sink your teeth into. Or you'll find out that, you know, comics just aren't my medium that I want to enjoy things through. Mm-hmm. But... It's great because you can find a character that you either know or something new. So I I really recommend checking that out. So is that time to give some thanks for some awesome geek stuff, Rob? What's your thanks today? I'm gonna thank a little charity. Um, definitely you should follow if you haven't already. You know they have a Facebook page, I'm sure, a website, whatever. It's called Extra Life, and every year they do a 24 hour. Actually, I believe this year it was 25 hour gaming marathon where you get people to you know it's kind of like i said a marathon and it's to raise money for different um children's hospitals i got to go to a event actually where we taped our um national tabletop day uh, i went to games keep in westchester which um was really cool they did a thing it was like 15 dollars, and you just open gaming mm-hmm. it's a really cool event you know the money goes to charity which is awesome i believe they raised we hit four million dollars which is incredible for, you know, That's all nuts. these different children's hospitals. And I, you know, I went in and played board games for like, you know, four hours or so. So I, I didn't make it to the 25 hours of the day. But, you know, still a worthwhile charity got my money. Um, I'm looking forward to this, you know, next year again, you know, doing more for it. But it was a great day. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot. I uh, got to play Star Trek Catan that day. Try that out. Enjoyed that. Played some Flux. Uh, played some other games. You know, it was it was really fun. So that's another great charity. Um, if you haven't heard about it, you should check it out. Cool. I'm going to thank an app um, that just came out on iOS, but it's been out uh, since this summer on the web and also on Android. It's called uh, Google Play Music. Uh, it's a subscription service much like Spotify. Um, but, you know, in addition to having your uh, streaming any song you want like mm. Spotify you can also upload up to 20,000 of your own songs so it's like a mix between like iTunes Match and That's Spotify neat. together and you can kind of like mix and match your playlist so is the point it's of really that cool. like if songs aren't on Spotify then you exactly. can add it okay yep. yeah um, so they just released the iOS version of the app which it's it was supposed to be a long time coming but you know you know, mm. it's just it took forever um, so yeah it's, it's out for it's, I think it's $9.99 a month for the subscription which is a little... Is that's about, way too much. Well, that's what I pay for Spotify, though. Yeah, see, I don't pay that for Spotify. Yeah. I mean, that's what I pay for Netflix. Right. You know, yeah. I, true, I look true, at true, things true, like true. that, and it's... And Netflix is even cheaper. I think it is. is only $7.99. Yeah. Um, Google Play Music actually was seven ninety nine if you got it the first month and mm. then kept it. But, um, yeah, it's it's really great if you're looking for that kind of thing. Um, you know, the ability to store your, your own music yeah. on the cloud as well as stuff. Like, they don't have the Beatles on their store, mm-hmm. so like, you can upload all your Beatles that's songs, cool. which yeah. is, you know, awesome. Um, so, yeah, the iOS app just came out this week and download it if you have Google Play Music and you have an iPhone. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks for watching this week of episodes. Big we week it. next week. Oh, we yeah, have thanks. Xbox One, 
Doctor Who 50th anniversary, you know, new Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. Um, there's something else that I'm forgetting. Something. It is a ridiculous big week of awesomeness. So we're going to be doing episodes as many as we can, you know, for those different things. Um, but, you know, we're going to be playing a lot oh, of Xbox. Also, the uh, Almost Human, which premieres yep. uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yeah. So, so, crazy. Crazy. So check back next week for what we got for you. Mm -hmm. um, appreciate you watching this episode. Let us know what you think. In the comments below, if you're reading Age of Ultron, any other comics you're reading, we would love to hear about them because mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're a little distant from comics. We haven't done a lot lately, but we're definitely open. To, also, to if you got a PS4, more. what what are your thoughts? You know, uh, we yeah, yeah, yeah. spent our money on the Xbox One, so you know, let us know if we, we made a mistake. One of each, so we could have. Yeah, but I needed but the then Xbox One. we can't play together. Yeah, so, exactly. But, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Um, yeah. Tune in next time.